Alright, so this is near the end of stage two. You've run through a bunch of shit. Sometimes you've had to go left down these pipes. I think the last couple times you've had to go left off one of these ramps. So you're naturally drawn this way, even though the right way to go is over here. And after you beat this thing, is the Doc Ock the final boss. So over here though, this is like the pits you've seen before, the death pits. It's just danger over here. Danger. Danger around every turn. So there's but there it's not chomping, so it's immediately less intimidating. And you can see a little color down there, and it's not just a black pit of death. So a lot of players are immediately drawn to jump right down and find the secret level. Now spider sense is going crazy. That was full health. That was like that's another full health. That's an explosion. This is the way out, actually. If I ran to the left once I got into the background up there, I would leave. These pipes. My spider sense is going off because you can't immediately tell they're dangerous, but they are. This contains web. That's an explosion. That's another web. So the immediate problem with the spider sense thing here is there's so much shit that it's not exactly clear what your spider sense is telling you is dangerous. See? But that's dangerous, that's an explosion. And your kick is luckily long enough to hit stuff without falling down another life. So now we've got Hobo Joe. Kill him. More full health. So there's stuff over here. I can't jump into that from where I am. It's part of the weird conveyance in this game. So, with jumping guys, basically just stuck, rock back and forth as they jump over you. That green stuff dripping, that can hurt me. Uh, platforms. Not pretty particular. Also, if, when you're walking to an edge, as soon as one of Spider-Man's feet is off the platform you're standing on, you'll fall down. Fantastic Four tokens. They give you summons for the Fantastic Four. They can't be used in the sewer. And you should spend them before the final level because you also... They all go away once you get to the final, the final stage. Uh, this pipe here, I can't go into. Unless you're on spectacular difficulty and then that will take you to a whole nother area. But you won't be able to get back here. So, I jump up here. So this jump. If I jump straight up, I just go. And this is actually how you get back up when you want to leave. Which is a weird place for that to be. So here, I want to jump onto that pipe in the background that's differently colored. The different colors are indicating to me where, or trying to indicate to me, are where I can land on it and where I'll just, I'm, I won't be able to access it. So I have to jump over to the right and now I'm in the background. It's really weird. Basically, just I'm holding left on the D-pad and then jumping. Climb out of here. Uh, let me just test. If I just hold up, I fall back down. So I gotta sort of know when to jump to get out of there. All right, now let's continue on to the right, cause yeah, you run to the right. It's a video game. If you notice, there's no. We got another Hobo Joe to deal with. Ow. Those alligators, which I don't think are killable for some reason. So you've, you notice that pit is open. That was triggered somehow. I don't... I'm not sure what did it. And now we have the lizard. Who's sort of the final boss to this area, but... Sort of just another part of it. So he'll jump around. Ow. If you try and hit him while he's doing that jump kick, you get hurt. Sort of just want to get in between his jumps and then kick him in the back a bunch of times. So if I hit him again, he's going to turn back into the lizard. If I go off screen, he'll disappear. 
But I want to show this off first, so let's live dangerously. Science said danger, and now I died. So I'll collect. I'll show off the rest of the stuff, and then we'll come back here. Uh, the lizard, now that he's glowing, he, no matter how many times you kill him, he won't turn back to Kirk Connors. So he's basically unstoppable now. Alright, so I'm going to cut and then come back here. You can just leave now and collect everything, but you can't get to the the area that beating him will get you to. I don't want to get that, so we'll come back to this. Alright, so I beat the lizard again. And now... I'm gonna let it go off screen. Up. Oh, I guess I get it a little further than that, but if I go enough off screen for long enough, huh? Uh, he'll disappear eventually. All right. So yeah, these holes, these are little item areas. You can't. You have to jump back down to get out of them. And then this one, this one was actually opened, I think it's by breaking the one of these that's in the lower right corner. Just sort of a weird trigger. I think the grenade is triggered by beating Hydro Man, but I'm, it could be by breaking something. Something about right there, I can't jump. Something about that area is screwing up my jumps. I don't, it's happened a, multiple times, so I don't know what it is. So, more goodies. Life, another Fantastic Four token, either Reed or Sue. I can't tell those two apart. So, you can see there's sort of like a grate here, the hole. This is stupid. So there's a pipe up there that shoots gas. If you kick it, that opens. That is the only one of those that does this in this game. Oh, that's such bullshit. That is one of the weird secrets that it took me the internet to teach me. I feel like we might have done it by accident once as, a couple times as kids, but that is one I never remembered. Kind of the only thing about this game. I didn't remember from that way. Alright, so now we can leave. So again, if my f the pixels that l that uh, foot, that right foot, go off all the way, I'll fall down. So I need to hold left and just jump to really be able to make that jump consistently. And now we're done. Now it's time to face the first boss. But first, this guy responds, so we gotta take care of this. He'll actually run away if you run into the boss enemy area. But, alright, so this is actually giving you a hint as to what you need to do. But it's not really enough. So, first boss. Punch, kick, ow. Web? Web, jump on him, kick, punch, all the things, nothing works. He kills you. Actually, that's what you can do. But, webbing him in his eyes, still not getting you anywhere. But it just flails and those tentacles will kick the crap of you. So let's just run, run away. Coward man. Web swing over here, oh. I hit a switch. Now a thing is on. Uh, yeah. No way to know you have to do that your first time through. That's a beginner's trap. And then you web him and he gets hit by the science waves. Yeah, classic beginner's trap. It's a puzzle. The whole thrust of it is figuring out it's a puzzle.